Here we're going to talk about conversion between metric to English or English to metric do, using math and we're going to specifically focus on temperature conversion. This is the basic instructions and it's made for Anatomy 10A lab at, San, at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. Quick review, metric system is used by most people in the world and when it comes to measurement of temperature, it's going to be in Celsius. It's going to be in degrees Celsius, okay? Everything else we've talked about already, you can see for yourself. Length is in meter, volume is in liter, and mass is in grams. In the English system, which is what we use here in the United States as well as England, that's why we call this the English system, um, measurement in length would be in inches, foot or miles, measurement in volume would be in cup, pint, quart or gallon, and measurement in mass would be ounce or pound. For temperature though, it would be in degree Fahrenheit, which is what we use here in the U.S. Remember, a conversion is to change from one unit to another. So what's a unit? A unit tells you the amount of something. For example, if we have the unit of temperature, we can have a unit of Fahrenheit or a unit of Celsius. Here are some conversion equations that will be given to you for the test. Do not memorize any of these, okay? In the previous video, I've already talked about using these equations already. Now, I'm going to look specifically at temperature, so I'm going to zoom in on these two equations here. Use this equation if you want to know what is degree Celsius if you're given degree Fahrenheit. Use this equation if you want to know the degree Fahrenheit if you're given degree Celsius. In other words, this is what I call the messy side of the equation. Always plugged in what you're given on the messy side. So if you're given Fahrenheit, well then use this equation to find Celsius. If you're given degree Celsius, then use this second equation to find a degree Fahrenheit. Okay? So use the stuff that you start with and always start with the messy side of the equation. This clean side of the equation, that's what you're looking for. Okay? So, let's start with the problem that we have. Let's say 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I want you to convert that to degrees Celsius. Start with what you have. What do you have? You have degrees Fahrenheit. Now you have to find the right equation, which means if you have degrees Fahrenheit, then this is what you want. Okay, you want to plug it to the degree Fahrenheit here because your answer is going to come out in degrees Celsius which is what you're looking for. Okay, so the unit you have been given is on the right, which is here, and the unit that you have, that you want, is the, on the left. So this is definitely the right equation to use. Okay, so you're going to plug in the number on the right side. Remember to do the calculation in the parentheses first. Just want to quick remind you, for well, the math, you need to do the math in this order. Do the stuff in parentheses first, and then do the exponent, then do the multiplication, then do the division, and then addition, and then subtraction. If you remember the mnemonic, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is exactly what it's all about. And then number four, you finish the rest of the equation. So let's go back and do this problem. So if this is the equation that you're looking for, you would say, we're giving it 30 degrees, right? So 30 minus 32 times 0 0.5556. So the answer is 2 times 0 0.5556, okay, and that is going to be, oh, 
I would say not quite a 12, but it's going to be somewhere between an 11. It's going to be approximately 11 degrees. Okay, it's going to be approximately, okay, that's an approximate sign. So let's do some practice problems, shall we? Here's some practice problem. Go ahead and pause this video and come back when you're ready to know the answers. Here are the answers to the practice problem. 2 degrees Celsius is 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 10 degrees Celsius is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. How do I come up with the answer? Well, by using this formula, okay? Plug in the number 2 here, multiply by 18, and add 32 will give you 35.6. Plugging in the negative 10, negative 10 times 1.8 would be negative 18. And, and then add 32 will give you 14 degrees Fahrenheit. This latter part of the problems, uh, the problem number 3 and 4, I give you 100 degrees Fahrenheit and I want you to change to degrees Celsius. You use this equation. Plug in the 100 degrees in here, 100 minus 32, and then multiply that by 0.5556, and that should give you 37.38. The last problem, 0.75 degree Fahrenheit, you can do, plug it in here as well. It's going to be a negative number that comes out, and that negative number is going to be multiplied by 0.5556, and that gives you the answer of 17.7. Pretty straightforward, don't you think? Okay, good luck.